Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Last week, we explored the grass dragon meditation uh, as a stillness meditation. Um, and uh, with an eye toward the three jinns, that is uh, Ming Jin, An Jin, and Hua Jin. And uh, I explained in some detail in the last couple of weeks, but I'm going to go over it again just because it's something that bears repeating. And also, some people would just be tuning in for the first time on YouTube. So, the uh, the idea of the three jins is is an idea that, that is I got from Xing Yi Chuan, and which is one of the uh, Chinese internal martial arts, but is applicable to all the internal martial arts. And that is the Ming Jin is the energy that is, um, well, let's put it, the, the practice is done as a, as a demonstration. That is, it's, it, it's a, where you are showing what this is about. A particular posture, a particular set of movements, a form, whatever. Your Ming means that you are, you're showing it. You're you're saying this is it, and the transition there is you're going from the physical expression of the energy to qi. That is, you're you're transmuting your motions into into energy, and so that you're cultivating your energy through those motions. And so much of what we do in the Chinese internal martial arts, particularly Tai Chi Chuan, is to to do our forms and whatnot in pursuit of cultivating our chi, that is to develop a, a, a more chi and circulate it well. And so that's the and that's the the basic level. It's the obvious one. It's the one that it says, hey, this is it. You, what you see is what you get. That's Ming. Anjin is the opposite. It's hidden. That is your you're not showing what's really going on there. You're doing your form, but there's a lot of it that just, it's beneath the surface. And so someone who knows what they're looking for is going to see it and say, oh, there's something special happening there. But for uh, you know, a casual viewer might just look at it and say, that, that there's nothing there. That 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 looks soft and gooey, and uh, there's nothing really happening in that in that in that form. And uh, that's because we're going from there. That that level is transmuting chi energy into spirit shen. So we're we're going from the the in Ming. We're going from the very substantial physicality into a more insubstantial quality, which is the energy. And on, we're going from the, the insubstantiality of chi, and it now becomes substantial by comparison to spirit, which is the, a much finer vibration than, than the energy. And so we going, there's that, that translation there. Then we go, the, the third level is Hua Jin, and that's mysterious. That's like, you know, what's going on here? It, there, it's not, uh, uh, it's almost like it's more nothing than something, but in it is the potentiality for incredible power and also a heightened state of awareness. So we're in that one, we're going from spirit or shen to emptiness or nothingness. So there's a that's the the thing it, it's dissolving so so much that it becomes it looks more like a nothing than a something. And so that's the that's the arc that these things are taking. And it's not that one is necessarily better than the other than the others. It is what's appropriate for the situation you're in. So let's say you're moving a refrigerator, you know, 
your Hua Jin is probably not going to be much use there, whereas the Ming Jin, you know, your physicality is. And similarly, whenever you're you're doing your your form or you're doing martial arts in a in a way, or even in a uh, sparring or combat situation where you don't want to reveal what it is you're doing, you're just you know it. You're you're sneaking up on on the opposition in in that case. You've got all this power that's sort of hiding there, waiting for for uh, an opportunity. And then it goes even deeper with the Hua Jin, where it's like there you move to your uh, such a heightened state of of kung fu that things get done with no effort at all. Then we get into the quality of, of Wei Wu Wei, that is doing based in absolute non-doing. That is, you're able to occupy the state of pure being so much so that you're able to manifest effects with a very, very minor uh, effort being, uh, being exerted. You're still doing something, but it's it's so far from the physicality of Ming that it looks like nothing's happening, yet things are happening. So that's the, your three levels of Jin. We, uh, last week, we, we did that with the, the, the Grass Dragon Meditation, and we played around with, with those three qualities there. I want to do it this week with the Grass Dragon with stepping. And so we're going to we'll start off with the grass dragon without stepping and then we'll get those three qualities kind of locked in and then we'll take it to the the uh the, the steps now one of the things about the stepping is that it very deliberate and they each have their own energies so i'll give you an example here that is where the, uh, as I'm taking a step forward, let's say I go in, I'm going to take a step forward with my left leg and the energy, notice that my foot is parallel with the ground. This is, this is a, uh, um, I'm going to duck a, uh, uh, rooster. rooster, rooster. This is a rooster step. This is a rooster step, so that the, the foot is parallel with the ground. So then whenever you step down, then your the rooster transforms into bear energy. So that you're stepping down heavy, solid, and you're locking into that posture. You're, you're coming out, then you're you grounded into this, this very bear-like stance. So in the transition, you go from rooster into bear. The other thing is that, well, there's two other things. And uh, one of them is fingernails. Your fingernails you are become claws, like, uh, like dragon claws. And you activate it by your hands. Notice that my hand is, is rounded, the fingers are spread. And then I've got these dragon claws kind of reaching out with there with that. My fingers are are spread, but they're not tense. There's not there's not a there's not muscular tension there, although they're reaching, they're opening. Okay. And you're opening and you're you're feeling with those those claws. What that does is it stimulates the wood chi in your body and your in your in your liver. And so it kind of creates this. That activates your wood chi, which is this intense kind of focused energy, which then it feeds your heart. It's the energy of springtime. It's the wood chi. It's that expansive chi, but it also has kind of a an edge to it. And that's the it feeds your heart, which is the season we're in now. That's uh, fire chi, which is uh, the emotion of joy comes with that. And liver is more in the like an edgy anger kind of thing. So you get the two together and you get this kind of happy anger. And it's like you're, you're, you're cutting through with, the, uh, with this. So that's, so you wanna have your, 
when you're reaching out, you're reaching out with those fingernails with those claws and grabbing with those. And that's going to create this wood sheet that, that create this effect, which also nourishes your sinews, your connective tissue system. So there's a lot going on in this, in this meditation here. Uh, the other thing is your tail. So every good dragon needs a tail, a nice big muscular tail, a tail that kind of reaches way back behind you, you know, think, you know, big, like 10, 15 feet behind you. And you're activating your tail as you turn. So if I'm turning to the left and using my right hand going to the left, my tail is wagging to the right to complement that. Right, so so we get that. So what this does, the tail, it it attaches to your tailbone, your coccyx, which then bridges between your governing vessel and your conception vessel. So you're you're pumping chi through your your central channel, your your ren ma and your du ma, which fills up the chi reservoirs in your body and gives you this robust energy, this fullness of energy that um, enables you to, to it, it fuels the, your Kung Fu. So the more of that, more of that reservoir you have and the better you can circulate it, the more health, happiness and longevity that you can expect from that. So this uh, this grass dragon is it promises a lot and it, it delivers. The term grass dragon. There are three different types of dragons in Bagua, and the grass dragon is kind of like a like an alligator. And there's actually a Chinese alligator that's very similar to the American alligator. Only it's a kind of a more of a benign creature than than our more bellicose uh, dra uh, uh, dragons here. And uh, it mostly eats, you know, fish and, and small mammals. But it's, uh, it, the tradition in, of the dragon in China is also a very benign one. It's, the dragon is wise, it is beneficent, it is compassionate, and it has great vision. So it, uh, you're, uh, we're cultivating all those qualities in ourselves as we, as we do our grass dragon meditation. The grass dragon is low to the ground. It's kind of swampy. So it's, com it's merging the earth chi with the water chi. So you're getting this, this earthy, watery kind of, kind of thing going. And then there's also, the wood chi that's animating it, that's that's tying it all together. All right, so let's uh, enough uh, backstory. Let's let's do some some cool stuff. Okay, would you stand up, please? All right, so let's begin with uh, our three pillars. So we want to establish the, the three pillars, central equilibrium, energetic coherence, and we want to unkink the hose. So we start off with the feel your weight centered over the balls of your feet. Knees are unlocked, sinking down into your feet. Feel that earth energy coming up through the bubbling well points in your feet rising up and merging with your body. Reach with the crown of your head, tuck in your chin, and open the jade pillow gate at the base of your skull. So we're allowing the energy to rise up the spine through the jade pillow gate and into the brain. So this way it gets, we're feeding the spirit valley at the center of the brain. This is the, the, at the center of the Spirit Valley, there's something called the Mud Pill Palace, which is the Ni Wan, the Ni Wan Gong. And that's the, uh, that's the, the home of your, 
where your pituitary and your pineal glands um, uh, are sitting there and connecting up to your endocrine system. So we want to have that going. We want to feel those fingers. So feel the claws and feel the energetic co coherence that comes with that. Particularly feel the your index fingers and feel the chi that, that immediately rises in your in your arms and your hands as you do that. Your your everything is nice and relaxed, but there's tensegrity, that is your you're lengthening the connective tissue to allow the chi to move freely. You're gonna relax your hip joints, get very sung, release down into your hip joints. Your elbows come out a little bit to the side. You're rounding your arms and that opens up your shoulder joints. So we're unkinking the hose. You want to feel, before you even get started, you want to feel the chi in your hands. And also feel it radiating throughout your body. You'll step out your left foot. And sink into, find those three pillars again in this posture. And so we just feel this, we're gonna do this Ming. We're gonna start off just to feel your arm reach with your wrists. Your fingers are hanging and you're in the balls of your feet. You reach out with your fingers, feel that extension. And now sink into your heels and press down. And very yin, feel that energy sinking down, down, down. You're allowing it to, to disappear down through your feet and into the earth. Take it to the balls of your feet. Reach with your wrists. Reach with your fingers. Feel those fingernails. And then Rotate your forearm so that you're you're turning your hands. You're like you're turning a couple of big knobs with your with your hands. But feel the energy in your arms as you do this. And then sink into your right leg and turn to the left, reach with your right hand, turn to the left, your tail wags to the right as you do that. So you're reaching out with your hand, feel that extension. Notice how I'm reaching out, I'm not collapsed, my arm's not collapsed, I'm really extending outward. Arm's not locked, but it's lengthened. So I'm, I'm extending outward with that. The left hand is also feeling the fingernails with that feeling the claws as I'm doing that. My tail is wagging, to, reaching to the, to the right. And now I'm going to turn to the left. My left hand is coming across. My tail is reaching to the left now. I'm sinking my left leg as I do that. Sink into my right leg and turn and reach with my hand. And then back to center. I'm going to sink into my left leg as I turn, reach with, reach my tail to the right, reach my reach with my right hand to the left. Taking my right leg, my tail wags to the left as my left hand moves to the right, extending outward. Feel the two hands pulsing together. 
the right hand is pulling down, it's, it's reaching down, it's, it's grabbing with the claws, the left hand is extending outward. And think of your left leg, wag your tail to the right and reach with the, the right hand. And back to center. Hands come down, sink into your heels. That big and obvious, that's Ming. We're converting the physicality to Qi. Our feel the, the energy in your arms and your hands. There's a, a specific quality to the energy that gets churned up at this point. And I don't expect you to, to notice it immediately. I'm just calling attention to that as a possibility. We're now going to the balls of your feet. We're going to, do, we're going to do hua now, or we're going to do on now. And arms come up, and this is hidden. It's much softer. When you reach with your hands, you still feel those fingernails, but it's not quite as pronounced. Reach with your elbows, but soft. And then you're going to sink into your left leg, wag your tail to the right and reach with your right hand. And it's a much gentler movement. Sink into your right leg, wag your tail to the left. And the left hand crosses. Very soft. Left leg, wag your tail to the right. Right hand comes across. Hold that a moment, just feel into that. Relax and let the energy move through. We're converting the chi into spirit now. And don't worry if you don't feel anything yet because it's, it's something that takes a bit of practice, but I want to leave it there as a possibility. It's something that I believe that as, with, as you practice, anybody can learn to do that. And then back to center. Sink into your heels and very yin, very re release down, down, down. Relax. Now feel the energy in your hands and your arms now. And you may notice a qualitative difference in the chi now. I'm not going to name it. I just want you to notice that that there may be a difference there. You may be able to, to discern something, a different quality to the energy. But also notice that it's still very full. Uh, we're gonna hua now and go to the balls of your feet, reach with your wrists. The fingers, feel the fingernails, but this time more nothing than something. We're taking all that energy from the Ming and the Hua and our movements are going to be very small. This time we're going to start with the right foot, left arm reaches out, tail wags to the left. To feel into the softness of that, the, the mystery that comes with that. Think of your right foot, your left leg, and reach with your right hand. Tail wags to the right. 
feel those fingernails, but it's so soft that no one would notice that you've got dragon claws. No one would even notice that you have a 15 foot tail behind you. So get your right foot, left hand. And to the left, to the right, left hand reaches softly. Feel all the energies of the preceding movements, even as you are in stillness. They exist as potentialities that can be instantly activated in the watching. And back to center. Here we're going from spirit to emptiness. Think into your heels and disappear. Disappear the forms, disappear the energy, disappear the thoughts. You dissolve into that emptiness. Yes, and now let's uh, introduce the stepping to this. And we're going to go back to Ming. Well, that means bigger, more obvious, more physical. Your dragon is there for all to see. Your dragon tail is there for all to see. Your dragon claws are there for all to see. Reach with your wrists and the balls of your feet. Reach with your fingers, really open up, open your joints. Feel your back opening up, feel that dragon back between your scapular. Just feel that opening and connecting your, your dragon claws together. So they are, they are one unit. Sink into your right foot, wag your tail to the left, and reach with that left hand nice and slow, very powerful. Feel that extension. Feel your connective tissue. Kind of, it's very, the tensegrity is very pronounced. There's, you know, like a, uh, like a guitar string that's been tuned to the exact right frequency, the exact right tension to produce the exact right frequency. Let's think of your left foot, wag your tail to the right and reach with your right hand going to the left. Good. Now sink in your right foot, wag your tail to the left, and pick up your left foot and into that um, uh, rooster. rooster, into that rooster step, step down bare, solid, dense, and wag your tail to the right as you reach with that right hand to the left, extending outward. Your body is nice and low. Look, look how, you know, I'm getting down here like this, you can go down even lower than that, but you know, just go whatever feels comfortable to you. But you wanna have that, you're really sinking into that front leg. 
feel that extension. And then your right foot comes up, rooster step, bear, and wag your tail to the left as you reach with your right hand. Feel that extension, feel the ming, that the physicality turning into energy. Left foot, step, rooster, bear. Step in and press down, sink into your heels, and let that all go. And feel the energy in your hands. Feel that very obvious energy, the Ming energy, very substantial chi pulsing through your forearms, into your fingers. You're radiating at the Lao Gong points in the, in the center of your palms. Feel those fingernails, just feel them alive. Your know, dragon claws are, they, they each have a mind of their own. Step back. Whoa. Hidden, soft, very yin. Reach with your wrists. Your fingers. The same energies that were in the Ming are going to be present here. It's just we're not showing them off. They're hidden. Feel those fingernails, but they, uh, someone wouldn't have to know what they're looking for to see your dragon, your dragon claws now. Someone have to really be observant to see your tail. But sink into your right foot, wag your tail to the left, reach with your left hand. Feel that dragon energy moving through, quietly moving through as you move from chi to shen. Think into your left foot and turn to the left. Reach with your right hand, wag your tail to the right. Think of your right foot, wag your tail to the left. Pick up your left foot, step down, bear, turn, reaching out, much more yin, still happening, your energy is still there, you're still moving, but it's quieter. Right foot steps up. Rooster going to bear. Feel the connection. Both feet are feeding this. The bear steps there, and reaching with the crown of your head. The foot steps in. Rooster, bear. Wag your tail to the right. Step up.
Press down, sink into your heels. And let the on chin go. Let the dragon go. Okay, step back, please. Now I'm going to Hua, the stepping. I'm going from spirit to emptiness. Feel more nothing than something. Reach with the wrists, fingers, balls of your feet. Feel those fingernails. But nothing, nothing obvious. Think of your right foot, wag your tail to the left, reach with the left hand. Feel the energy of those other two. Of all the movements we've made before this, feel them as potentials here. Think of the left foot, Turn to the left. Reach. Think of your right. Wag your tail to the left. Reach to the left hand. Left foot steps. Rooster, bear. Feel into that. Relax. Empty out and just allow the energy to move through. Allow the spirit to move through. Just feel that become part of that whole process. Step up to your right foot, rooster, bear. Rooster, bear. Feel your claws, feel your tail. Nobody else can see it, but you can feel it. You can feel the tail, the tip of the tail, you can feel it in your fingertips, in your claws. You can feel at the crown of your head. Step in. Now feel all those move all those movements, the Ming, the An, the Hua. 
stationary and with stepping. Feel them as a potentiality with you right now. Hands come down, sink into your heels. And dissolve into the emptiness. Step in. Take a deep breath. Inhale into the ball to your feet. Feel your body filling. Very young, expansive. Now exhale and let it go. Sink into your heels and disappear all of that energy, throw it away. Now take a moment to feel into that, feel into that energy. Feel into the absence, into the more nothing than something. Please take a seat. How'd that go? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Great. Richard. Um I discovered tonight that um you sort of have to have the whole team on board because my tail was very um obstinate tonight. <laughs> it didn't really didn't seem to want to play. Didn't want to play. Okay. Okay. And it's amazing how that messes everything up. How you have to <laughs> how you have to then struggle and then have a conversation with your tail about yeah uh, about uh, this is a team sport. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I, I hopefully you're able to come to some sort of agreement. Yeah, we we grudgingly got everything together. <laughs> <Great. laughs> it's <was> pretty funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jonathan, I it, I'm surprised how often I keep forgetting during the weeks until you mention it again to use my nails because it's it is nothing simpler. It's even simpler than pointing. 
So, and it, it does strike me, it's, it's a multi-seasonal thing to do. It's not just do it in spring. But I also thought this time, for the first time, so this is fire, but fire can't burn by itself. It needs a fuel, and that fuel is wood. So are we to think of the wood and the fire together? In other words, and then that's different than the wood emerging from what? Water, earth, kind of, that it comes out of in spring. So it's, it's almost like a different quality in this season of how we feel the interaction between the wood and the fire of the season? That's exactly, exactly right. The seasons are lined up so that, you know, the each element feeds the next one. The water, as you said, water feeds the wood. So that we, you know, we cultivate water in wintertime so that whenever spring comes around, then then we have all this, this water tree that's available to nourish the wood. The wood then comes along and it nourishes the fire. And so it feeds the fire. So that's that's how that all, all works together. And so it kind of works around the whole season like that. So that's And there's the, like a different quality to nails then in summer than nails in spring, right? Nails coming out of the water and earth and nails going into the fire. That's kind that's, of cool. It's very cool. Very cool. And, and it's, it, we have like all these infinite possibilities to explore. And and each day it changes. So there's, yeah, yeah. there's never never a dull moment with the <laughs> with the gung fu, because it's uh you know, you're we're constantly being surprised by new combinations and uh we have to meet each moment, you know afresh because it's uh it ain't it ain't what we thought it was ain't what we remembered it to be it's something new scott i have to say i don't know why i was a little skeptical i was like yeah we did this last week what's the big deal but um yeah it was a big deal <laughs> it was uh wow and i I didn't realize how much I was holding on to my dragon until you said, let it go. And then I was like, <laughs> holy crap, I really am. I really am mostly dragon here. It, uh, having that, that dragon energy filling you up is, is it's, it's quite refreshing. It, uh, mm. and, and, you know, we, we, we have to, you know, let it come, let it go. Cause otherwise it'll, it'll dominate the conversation. Mm. Uh, but it's nice, nice to have that as as a buddy. And one more thing that I I still the tail is still kind of iffy for me. But what I was what I um, was thinking about tonight was, you know how dragons have that like I don't know what you would call it the spiny ridge that goes from their head to their tail. I was focusing on that from my head to my tail. And that that was bringing the dragon together because you know that that connect you know that connects the whole dragon body in my in my head so that was helping. Excellent. And Sharon, we... um, I really connected with the bear. As soon as I went from rooster and planted my foot, I really felt bear like, and a growl came out. <laughs> and I said to myself, no, now it's dragon time. And <laughs> what is there a sound that goes with dragon? I don't know. I don't know if there is a sound that goes with dragon. But uh, it's, uh, yeah. But there definitely, uh, you, you felt the bear. That's, that's, that's good. Because uh, the, uh, the dragon actually is a composite of like 12 different animals plus a human. And uh, so it, uh, so rooster and bear are, 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 are part of the, uh, are part of the composite. Mm -hmm. And so the, uh, um, uh, so yeah, feeling that, mm, feeling those, those big bear paws stomping down there is, is an essential part of, of filling the, uh, the dragon with the earth chi. Mm, yeah. But I'm glad you I'm glad you felt it. That was cool. 
Uh, Richard. Uh, I just wanted to ask, will we also move this to um, moving without moving? Say again? Will we take the next step with this to moving sure. without moving? Sure. Which is kind of where we ended up, where we were standing like this, we we're moving without moving, and we we're feeling all those all those things as potentiality, but without actually moving. So that's kind of where we ended up there. But you can you can do that once you're familiar with the energies and the different stages of the energies, then you can you can access it sitting in your barca lounger. You know, it's uh once you once you get it, once the potentiality is so familiar to you that you like, oh yeah, I got that now. But we get that by by going through the stages, the Ming, the An, the Hua, and doing it over and over again. So, and then it keeps cycling around. And next time we come back to Ming, having done that, we are, it's a whole new game. It's not the same Ming that we knew the first time. It's, it includes the other two now. And so it keeps, keeps circling, spiraling upward. Valerie. Yeah, I uh, I found it real easy to be in the Ming and be be the dragon and worried about knocking my husband over because my tail was very very present uh, and cooperating. Um, but then getting into <laughs> not to brag. Getting, yeah, <laughs> sorry, it's just happening. <laughs> but then when I finally was able to get myself into the on aspect. Um, I found it very easy to go from on to qua. Um, and then and then I wanted to stay there forever. <laughs> I did <laughs> I wanted to stay there. Um, it's it's just it's uh, you know each week of that we've worked with this has built upon you know the first step and the second step now um, this one uh and it's i like it <laughs> it's pretty marvelous it, it takes things to a whole different level then you can incorporate that with any anything you're doing you know and uh you know just as long as you you know consciously engage you know with that idea you know as you're doing it then you know, whatever you do, you pick up your hand, you can, you can, you can do it each of the three different ways and uh, uh, becomes its own Kung Fu. Cool. Thank you all so much. That's great. Great comments. Appreciate that. Um, anything else? Okay. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Love you guys. Happy Fourth of July. And happy birthday, Richard. Happy birthday, Richard. Happy Thank birthday, Richard. Happy birthday, Richard. When's your birthday, Richard? Uh, today. Today. Oh, Whoa. happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Richard. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.